want to make the most out of your vitamin C serum, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Natasha, a board certified acne dermatologist, and I'm here to tell you how you can maximize the benefits from your vitamin C serum. Now, vitamin C serum is one of the most commonly used and the most popular skincare ingredients in today's time. It's used not only to make your skin more youthful and brighter, but it also reduces pigmentation. It reduces oxidative stress, you know, the stress that we come across in our day-to-day -day life with the environment, and it reduces the stress in our skin, thus works beautifully as an antioxidant effect. Now, earlier you would have heard our parents say, you know, that they used to use Nimbu or Agla directly onto their skin to help brighten their skin or to reduce pigmentation. But the skincare industry has advanced tenfold since our parents' time. And now we have medical grade vitamin C available that's derived from natural vitamin C to incorporate into our skincare routine. So let's discuss a few pointers on how to maximize the benefits and the common mistakes most people make while using a vitamin C serum. Now the most common mistake that I see most people making with vitamin C is using oxidized vitamin C. Now what do I mean by oxidized? Vitamin C, when you open the bottle and when vitamin C comes in contact with sunlight and the environment, it slowly starts to change in color and it becomes gradually yellow, orange and brown and that means that your vitamin C is oxidized. And when vitamin C is oxidized, it turns inactive and it can be more irritating on the skin. Another easy way to understand what oxidization means is that when you cut a banana or an apple and keep it out, how it turns brownish or blackish in color, that's what oxidizing is. Now what happens when you use oxidized vitamin C on the skin? Because the color of the vitamin C is a little darker, over a period of time, instead of brightening your skin and making you look more youthful, it's going to make you look darker and duller over a period of time. Now this is known as temporary staining of the skin because of the oxidized vitamin C. Don't worry, it's temporary. You need to stop using that oxidized vitamin C. Your skin's going to gradually come back to being Normal. Vitamin C and acne prone skin. Now, practically, vitamin C can benefit people from all different skin types, but those with acne prone skin need to be extra cautious to prevent breakouts by using vitamin C. And coming to myth number two, or the mistake number two that most people do, is using vitamin C on active acne. Now, I see a lot of influencers and in, you know social media videos where they show how vitamin C will help with acne and acne marks. Yes, that's true. But people with active acne need to avoid vitamin C totally in their skincare regime. And here's why. Now, vitamin C doesn't directly trigger acne or pimple formation, but yes, its irritating quality can also trigger you know, tiny breakouts on the skin. Now, the key here is that high concentration vitamin C is more irritating. So instead of the low concentration vitamin Cs, and of course the medium of vitamin C, so L ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C, is the most irritating. So instead, go for its other alternatives like methyl ascorbate and various others available in the market that will be less irritating on the skin and will not trigger acne in return. Another pointer to keep in mind is the medium or the vehicle of the vitamin C. Now, if your vitamin C serum is oil-based, then yes, that oil-based vehicle is going to clog your pores and can further promote breakouts on your skin. The last but not the least, now vitamin C we know is a pro-oxidant, it reduces free oxidant damage on our skin. But did you know that at high concentrations, vitamin C can also be a pro-oxidant, especially when it comes in contact with iron. Now you know our blood, our skin is made out of iron and when you have acne, your skin is red, painful and irritated and inflamed. So when vitamin C comes in contact with this iron, it turns into a pro-oxidant and it's actually going to, you know, cause more damage to your skin than have any benefits. This damage, what it does is it promotes more free radical formation in the body and skin and in return, your skin is going to look duller and darker and yes, it is going to trigger your acne or acne tendency for your skin. So what are my pro vitamin C tips? One, while choosing the vitamin C serum, prefer an opaque bottle that's airtight. Of course, if you have active acne, avoid using vitamin C. If you're new to vitamin C, your skin is sensitive and dryish, then I would say opt for vitamin Cs that are in cream formulations or even various combinations where you have vitamin C with vitamin A 
niacinamide, vitamin E, they all help. Now, vitamin E paired with vitamin C, they both act as catalysts and they boost the antioxidant effect of each other. Niacinamide in return will reduce the oil production and will help in unclogging your pores. Using salicylic acid in your skincare routine along with vitamin C can additionally benefit because it's removing and it's exfoliating all the dead skin, so it's helping your vitamin C penetrate easier. Now, the end point of skincare is that skincare is highly personal. So, see how your skin feels. If you feel that your vitamin C is not suiting, you stop, wait for a while, and then maybe you could choose an other, you know, molecular brand of vitamin C. Have fun with your skincare, be consistent, and don't forget to use your Samsung.